Cancer is a disease in which cells grow out of control when they no longer respond to the typical cues that make a cell know to stop growing. And it's that inability to respond to internal and external cues that regulate growth that make cancer cells so dangerous. So I came here, in fact, when Don Thomas was developing bone marrow transplantation because of a finding they had made. So the original idea in bone marrow transplantation was that giving high-dose radiation and chemotherapy would eradicate the leukemia, but that the toxic effect of that was that it was going to eliminate the normal bone marrow. And so the idea of a bone marrow transplant was that you would give bone marrow to rescue these cells that were killed along with the, the uh, abnormal leukemia cells. But it became clear that the benefit that people were getting from bone marrow transplant was not so much from the high-dose therapy, but it was actually from the immune cells that were being transplanted as part of the bone marrow transplant. Now, I had already been spent several years studying more basic immunology and came with the idea that we could do away with the high-dose chemo chemotherapy and radiation therapy and that we would be able to find T cells from the patient that would recognize their tumor as foreign. And we could give that as a direct therapy and avoid all these toxicities associated with bone marrow transplantation. We've been working on this for four decades now. And most of that time was spent trying to understand the basic principles of how does the immune system work? How does it recognize tumors? The really exciting part for us now is that after many years of studying how to manipulate the immune system to recognize cancer, we are now putting this into patients and we're seeing clinical signals. In other words, we're seeing benefit in some patients. And learning how to make a therapy that has some efficacy better is a whole different task than going from trying to figure out how to make something that doesn't work start to work. We're in this whole new era of, for immunotherapy of something we call synthetic biology, where we can engineer cells to do things that they don't normally do. So we can make the, the, the immune T cells see the tumor better, kill the tumor better, persist and, and eradicate tumor better, and learning how to do this to establish immune responses that are safe and effective is a really exciting time.